Hey everyone and welcome back to the Redefine FX YouTube channel. So today we're gonna do this sand portal effect with tie flow only. So you can start just by creating a circle under create shapes and create a circle and give it a radius of 250 centimeters and 48 steps for the interpolation. Now I'm working in units, metric centimeters with one unit being one inch. So if you want your results to look the same, they do for me, make sure that you're working in the same scale and your circle is the same size. Otherwise, even if you plug in the exact same settings as me, it's gonna look different. So next, let's just select the circle and go under modifiers. You can just hit N on your keyboard and then select noise. And we basically need to give some variation to the movement of the circle. So I'll just lower the scale quite a bit set the strength to 100 centimeters on all axes and then click animate noise and as you move forward you'll see that it's going to be moving around but it's a bit too strong right now so let's just set the frequency to maybe 0.05 that worked well for me so just a subtle movement in the circle this is just going to help it make look more organic and not just like a perfect circle and let's maybe set the scale to just 3.5. Next, let's just create a standard tie flow here. And we're gonna need something for the particles to come out of. So I'll just go under helpers, tie flow, and create a tie icon and make one right here, sort of at the beginning of where it all starts. And then let's open the tie flow editor. Let's do birth operator from frame zero to frame maybe 250 for a total of, let's start with 5,000 particles. Then we need a position icon and pick this icon here. So now they're being born on top of the icon. And we can change the color to white so we can see them. Next, let's do a path follow operator and pick our circle as the path. So now if I go forward, it's too crazy because path follow is an additive force effect, which means they just keep accelerating. So we need to slow them down. A slow operator here and set the slow velocity to maybe 15%. So now they're sticking to the circle better. So this is pretty cool, but it's too uniform. So under the path follow settings, you can just increase the variation to 50%, maybe lower the velocity to two, maybe set the traction to just one centimeter, which will sort of give them more leeway to move around. And for the spin variation, let's make that 25%. So this could be pretty cool, but for now I'm actually gonna set the spin acceleration to zero because I want them to create these sort of strings of sand, which will then create these sort of nice shapes happening inside of the portal. And for the slow, I actually wanna increase the variation here too, to maybe 20%, again, just to randomize. All right, at this point, we just need to break it up a little bit. So I'll just add a force operator, set the noise to turbulent with a strength of maybe two centimeters. For the scale, I did 0.05. And for the face, I did two. So I'm just giving you the values that worked for me initially. I just sort of played around with these noise settings until I got it to look this way. But of course, you can just increase this and get something more crazy or just lower it. But two centimeters is what worked for me. So this is not bad, but I wanna create these sort of strings of sand. It's almost like snakes going through each other. So I'll just add a particle bind operator, which does exactly what it says. It, it binds particles together. So I'll just set the stiffness to maybe 0.2. And then under the binding properties here, family filtering, family bind, I want to say bind to siblings. And at this point, we can just add a shape operator, display to 3D, and let's do chunks round. And under display, we can just select geometry. Um, so now there are these little sort of pebbles of sand. And at this point, we can just give it a material. So open material editor. And I have this sort of a beige color um, sand here. I'm gonna apply that to tie flow. And for the shape size, you can just enable scale and set this to 50% because right now they're just too big. So we're gonna add way more detail to this right now. So let's just add a spawn operator. It's this green one here, spawn. So for the timing, we only want them to be spawned when they're being born, which is from 0 to 250. So I'll just set this to frame and do from 0 to 250. 
and I want to spawn them by travel distance. So as they're moving forward, they're giving birth to more particles along the way, which is going to create those sand trails that I'm after. So we can just set the step size to 10 centimeters. And I only want 10% of them to give birth to more particles, not all of it, because then it'll just get too heavy. So now I'm generating some sort of trails of particles, but it's way too uniform. It's creating these lines and I need to break that up again. So I'll just add a speed operator and set it to random 3D. That's fine and just connect it to the spawn. So now they're just sort of going in all directions. So now these spawn particles no longer have all of this path follow and force and all that. So we need to just copy it over. So I just select the path follow, hold shift and drag it down here under the speed. And we need to copy over the slow operator as well and the force as well. So for this second path follow, I'm just gonna increase the spin velocity to two and maybe set the attraction to 0.5. So I'm just trying to change the settings between these two path follows. So I get more of a randomized look for the sand. So now as I go forward, we have something like this, but again, I have the problem of some of these individual particles floating away. So I'm gonna add another particle bind. So you can just copy this one again, hold shift except this time I'm gonna set the stiffness here to one. And for the particle bind, I actually wanna say again, family filtering bind siblings and bind to siblings under family bind, right? So now I think we're starting to get that nice um, sort of look of these different trails of sand going through each other, which is gonna give you this kind of a result. Now what you can do is go back under slow and set the velocity to maybe 20% just to slow it down even more. So the only remaining sort of problem is that it doesn't have any depth. It's just sort of sticking to the circle a bit too much. So what you can do is go under geometry and create a torus. I'm um, similar to the Thanos portal tutorial that I made, I think almost two years ago. You can just rotate this 90 degrees, move it back and maybe scale it up. And we're gonna add a find target operator here. For the target object, I'll just pick the torus. So now if I go forward, I'm gonna get more of a, a funnel kind of a look, something that has more dimension to it. So that looks pretty cool. Now it's just a bit too strong. So I think you can just set the velocity here to like 10 centimeters. Perfect. So basically right now what's happening, the particles are attracted to the circle with the path follow operators but they're also being attracted to the torus with the fine target. So those two forces are fighting against each other. So you get a bit of a depth as the particles travel to the torus, but then they are pulled back to the circle. And you get this sort of a nice um, three-dimensional um, thing going on. Maybe we can increase the effect a little bit more. So I'll just do 15 centimeters for the velocity here. And now as a final step, I would just go back under birth and maybe set the total amount of particles to like um, 30,000. You can go as high as you want. It's just going to add more detail to it. All right, so I just simulated 250 frames of this. And this is the final effect. So of course, you can just select the stores, go to object properties, make it not renderable. Then I'll just unhide my lights that I've already prepared. Don't forget to add a mesh operator here if you want to be able to render this out. So mesh, mesh, here, go control C. And don't forget to enable motion blur for your camera, which is what really helps to sell this effect. All right, so this is what it looks like rendered. It's a bit too dark, um, but basically what I did for the thumbnail for the video, uh, I just imported into After Effects, um, boosted the curves pretty high. Then I made a few copies on top of each other, which just helps to fill in um, some of those gaps and the, and the detail and I added some subtle glow on top to make it pop. And then of course I just added the text and this is the thumbnail for the video. So everything you need is here. Feel free to play around with this. As always, I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I'll be uploading more. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.